Whole Earth, The Many Lives of Stuart Brand by John Markov. Stuart Brand has long been famous if you know who he is, but for many people outside the counterculture, early computer or the environmental movement, he is perhaps best known for his famous mantra, stay hungry, stay foolish. Steve Jobs' endorsement of these words as his code to live by is fitting. Brand has played many roles, but one of the most important is as a model for how to live. The contradictions are striking. A blonde-haired wasp with a modest family inheritance, Brand went to Exeter and Stanford and was an army veteran, but in California in the 1960s he became an artist and a photographer in the thick of the LSD revolution. While tripping on acid on the roof of his building, he envisioned how valuable it would be for humans to see a photograph of the planet they shared from space, an image that in the end landed on the cover of his whole Earth catalog, the defining publication of the counterculture. He married a Native American woman and was committed to protecting indigenous culture, which connected to a broader environmentalist mission that has been a thought line in his life. At the same time, he has outraged tourists because of his pragmatic embrace of useful technologies, including nuclear power, in the fight against climate change. The famous tagline promise of his catalog was Access to Tools. With rare exceptions, he rejected politics for a focus on direct power. It was no wonder, then, that he was early to the promise of the computer revolution and helped define it for the wider world. Brand's life can be hard to fit onto one screen. As John Markov makes marvelously clear, the streams of individualism, respect for science, environmentalism and Eastern and indigenous thought that flow through Brand's entire life form a powerful gestalt, a California state of mind that has a hegemonic power to this day. His way of thinking embraces a true planetary consciousness that may be the best hope we humans collectively have. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Bye.